Hey guys, Henning and Morton from Flip Normals here. We have recently heard a lot of uh, chatter about should you use a tablet when sculpting? There's yes, been a lot of discussions about this. The question, the answer is absolutely <laughs> you should. No debate. You should absolutely use a tablet when sculpting anything. So why should you use a tablet when sculpting? The first one is, is maybe the most obvious one. Now I am sculpting with a mouse and notice how crappy this is you know you you really don't have any control over the stroke and the um, it, it's all even and it's a lot hard to get nice looking strokes of course you could turn down the intensity but then it's the same effect just slower yeah like turning on lazy mouse or something and then less intensity but that's a way to like move around the issue that you don't or that you're not using a tablet essentially and i always sculpt with a tablet like now i can go from really soft to really hard to really soft again and just really have these these strokes play around each other all in one stroke that's kind of one of the main advantages as well so it's just going to look way better like we've seen some people saying that they're really good sculptors of mouse well cool you will be an even better sculptor with a tablet uh, there is a second point as well which is that you will get hurt if you keep sculpting with a mouse. When I'm, whenever I'm sculpting with a mouse right now, I'm clicking all the time. I'm sure you can hear in the video, you can hear little clicks. And now I'm using like one finger, which just triggers like some very weak muscles in a forearm. Like this is terrible to do all day, every single day. Particularly if you're doing a lot of serious sculpting, you're not just clicking like once and doing this. You're going to be doing this all the time. You're going to be clicking like thousands and thousands of time for a single for a single sculpt like this like in order to make a sculpt like this you're talking like ten thousand strokes maybe yeah, that's, that's what prob it's probably what, around there but it's with a tablet imagine what you have with with an actual uh, with a mouse so yeah it's terrible to sculpt with a mouse but it's it's so bad for your body i personally had a lot of issues with uh, with my my shoulders my forearms my hands just because i'm sculpting so much like you know you're talking like 10 12 hours sculpting every single day and you're doing it fast you're not just noodling you're, you're you're sculpting like at a really good pace and if you keep doing that you will get hurt and that's gonna hurt with a tablet where you're moving a lot of your shoulder a lot of your arms around and it's a lot more natural for your body now imagine how hurt you will be if you are if you're using a mouse here like you're talking like you will get uh uh, carpal tunnel syndrome you'll get rsi you will get all the diseases in the world in your arm now keep in mind like a tablet isn't a magic bullet right if you're just starting out with sculpting just because you start you pick up a tablet doesn't mean that you'll be an amazing sculptor from day one also it doesn't mean that you can just sit and work 14 12 hour 14 days without consequences at some point you still need to take breaks you also still need to practice sculpting it, it's not a magic bullet but it is one of those cases where, you know, people often talk about like a, a tool is just a tool. Yeah, but there are some tools that are better for certain jobs. It's like using a hammer to dig a hole in the ground. Like sculpt. It's it's inefficient. It's it's just it's just not as good. Yeah, because then it is not that they're equal and 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 it's personal preference. No one is objectively better than the other. Uh, it, it's it's just crazy to see how how bad it is like you can just get these really elegant strokes with um, with the tablet and then we talk with a mouse and you just you just don't have enough control over it and we saw some people arguing that but they have all the they have all the hotkeys set to like a 20 function mouse and they can just click all the things and they have all the all the brushes there but it doesn't it doesn't really matter if you if you don't really have if you don't really have good strokes, then you are just going to get down shitty strokes a lot quicker. You, you, really, you really want to make sure that you have all the control you need. Like you're going to lose so much subtlety from your sculpts if you are, if you're dealing with a mouse. It's kind of the same thing. It's like if you're, let's say you're painting in Photoshop or something. Again, that's, that's a massive difference there between painting with a mouse and painting with a tablet. Again, one of the big things that you lose there, one is... For me personally, I'm, I'm sure you could have a lot of you could have a lot of precision with a mouse. It's not that, but you don't have any pressure sensitivity. Pressure sensitivity is something you're going to have to work around. You're going to have to layer multiple strokes, um, and it's like it's saving yourself that struggle. Like make it easier for yourself from the get go. 
Yeah, I'm I'm pretty confident that if I if I hadn't used a tablet, that I literally wouldn't be able to do CG today, just because I would have had so many, so many injuries in in my back for it. Like this is, it is something like people just don't take seriously. You know, you're like 16, 17 years old. You've been sculpting with a mouse for like three months and being like, yeah, but I'm fine. <laughs> you're fine now. Yeah, you're fine now. Uh, it also just looks way better. Like the sculpting will just look better. Like it it's just a better tool. For it. So so now you maybe you're like, all right, Henning and Morton, I'm convinced. Uh, I'm going to stop sculpting with a mouse. Uh, what tablets do I buy? Happy you asked. the The main one is uh, the main producer of tablets is is Wacom. They they basically set the gold standard for any kind of tablet. And if you walk into any studio or any school worth anything in the world, they are most likely to have a Wacom tablet. The first tablet I had is no longer in production because it's so old, <laughs> but that lasted for like seven years or something until it literally fell apart. And then the second tablet I spilled a lot of water on. <laughs> Turns out they're not waterproof. But now I'm on my my third tablet, and that that's what I've used my entire career. Like like for me, like the first tablet I got, tablet I got was my dad. He went to like aldi or something and and found a tablet. It was they they just have random stuff in aldi, <laughs> and it was maybe. 15 20 bucks something like that um he was like do you want a tablet I'm like sure i don't know what to use it for but the, yeah i'll give it a shot and that's sort of like my introduction to tablets and then afterwards i i just bought a a wacom if you want to if you want to get like an entry level one of these guys is really good they're they're relatively inexpensive and they're gonna last for years uh, i've been teaching a course back in norway for for many years now and they still have the same tablets as when i started teaching there like 2010 i think it was uh these guys have been through hell on earth and they're they're st- they're still working they don't they're not as fancy and they don't have all the features of, of a more advanced tablet but they're going to be working perfectly fine uh they might be missing like express keys and all that kind of stuff but on an expensive tablet the very first thing i do is disable <laughs> all the express keys i've disabled everything there's even a, a setting in the wacom settings now where you can just it's a one-click setting disable everything except like the tablet oh, that's mode amazing so. so fancy doesn't mean better. One of these guys is is perfectly fine. Or you know, if you want to go, if you want to go more expensive as well, you have the Intuos Pros. These are these are really sold. Uh, I'm sitting in one of these guys uh, in this video here, and and basically everything you you you're seeing in any Flip Normals video is sculpted in one of these. Yeah, I think I had my like Intuos Four. That one lasted five or six years, and the current one I have, I think, is an Intuos Pro. It's the same, maybe four or five years so far, and it's doing great. So. Yeah, so you can see they're not, they're also not that expensive. They're around two, three hundred dollars, which you know is it's not a trivial cost. Don't get me wrong, but it's if, if you're if you're a digital artist, they're going to be serving as as the foundation for everything you do. Yeah, it's your main tool, so it's one of those things you really shouldn't skip out on. If you're also uh, if you also have a lot of cash to spare, they also have uh, <laughs> they also have the crazy antiques as well, which. Uh, uh, these guys are amazing. Uh, they're uh, some of these are computers, and some of these are just displays. So if you want to want that, then you're just painting directly on the screen. And that's where it gets interesting with personal preference. Like you know, you, you Henning, you you really like I working on Cintiq. I for me, it never really worked. I I tried working with it for a few months here and there, and it just. I think I'm just so used to just the regular tablet, like it's I'm disconnected from what I'm I'm sculpting. So like I I never never really could get into it. Yeah, and regardless of if you prefer it or not, uh, keep in mind if you are using a Cintiq that you have to take posture seriously. You can get really really severe back pain and like sh- like back, shoulder, wrist, whatever it might be, because you're sitting now and now you move you you're moving your arm a lot more up and down, and they're so much bigger. With the smaller tablets, you're just moving your arms like like a little bit. You know, it might be 15 centimeters. But with these guys, if it's a 32 inch Cintiq, like it's like you're painting on the wall. It's crazy. <laughs> Jeez, they have 32 inches. Now. It's crazy. And then we have the company, which we have no idea how to pronounce. We're gonna he- call it Huion. 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 It's like a Pokemon. So this is a, this is a new uh, this is a new uh, new company on the market, which I believe is the Chinese. And I they, think they're Chinese. Yeah. And they've, they've been coming into the market uh, over the last few years now. Now I haven't personally used this. I've heard a bit mixed things about it, but in general, the people. The people uh, I've talked to who's used them have said they've been pretty decent tablets. They're generally a lot cheaper than uh, than Wacom's, uh, but uh, but again, I haven't personally used this. I can't vouch for this at all, and we're no way sponsored by any one of these guys. 
Now, Aldi, on the other hand, <laughs> you know, they don't know. <laughs> 2004, Aldi, $20. No, but like if you if you are, if you just want to test it out and maybe both of these are like, it's too high in terms of price range and you just want to test it out. I'm sure that there is like an electronic store nearby that has maybe a used tablet, off-brand something that it's just a, you know, digitizer, it just transfers pen to computer. You could also try and go out and search for that. If you're not like if you're on the fence about like whether you should use a tablet or not, you could try that out to begin with. Yeah, I remember when I first started using a tablet that it was really it was really hard. Like uh, it's one of these memories I have which you don't have a lot necessarily a lot of memories of when you're starting something out because it's such a long time ago, but I remember that the first weeks of getting a tablet, it was just impossible to use for me because I I couldn't connect the tablet to the PC like with my brain. Like I couldn't I couldn't understand how it worked. So I was like <laughs> doing like little games where I was like, now I'm in Photoshop and clicking on the things. Now I can just click on anything because I've been using it for such a long time. But it was really like trying to find like the circles and just click on them because it was so alien. So if that happens to you, it's gonna go away. Like just just get used to it. And if you if you buy something one of the more affordable ones, like it's it's hopefully not the end of the world. And there might be used ones as well for I'm sure there are a lot of CGRs trying to sell their tablets as well. Yeah, I think that about does it for this. I mean, I'm very excited to see the comments on this video <laughs> um, because I know, I mean, they, for some reason, which I, I never really understood, this is a very polarizing topic for some people. But for us during our entire professional career, everyone we've ever worked with in any studio, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, has always used tablets. It It is just a superior tool. And it will, like I said, it won't make you an amazing artist by itself, but it will definitely help. But like a mouse is going to make you a worse artist yeah, if you're trying to so. sculpt with it. So in short, should you work with a tablet when sculpting? Yes. <laughs> yes, you should. So if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And uh, let us know what you think of this video in, in the comments. Should Are you comfortable working with a tablet? And if you're interested in professional training or 3D assets, 2D assets, 2D training, whatever it is, trying to advance your career within the CG visual effects or animation industry, make sure to pop over to the Flip Normals Marketplace and grab something from there.